This is another production test run of the CEB press filming the output plate. We wanted to see whether a segment of rollers perpendicular to the preceding set of rollers and in a decline from the perpendicular junction could enable the bricks to continue around a corner. have suffered a clog. The dirt was not getting into the frame. and encountered the problem of the hopper not shaking dirt down into the tray to be pressed into bricks. This, as you can see, interrupted the brick making process as no more dirt was being pressed into bricks because the dirt was stuck in front of the hopper. As you can see there's a there's a hole in the dirt but most of the dirt is stuck at the front so it's not getting down to the tray and it's going to take a lot of manual working to get it in. Our only way to resolve this issue was to manually force the dirt down through a combination of pushing it down using a piece of rebar, since that is about all that will fit through the grate at the top of the hopper, and manually shaking the hopper hard, which at the hardness we shake it, to knock dirt down in the tray for pressing brick can cause jamming issues. We were unaware during this run that the hopper shaker could be throttled up. As of Tuesday morning, October 25th, we have not yet tested whether a fully throttled up shaker will enable most of the dirt in a fully loaded hopper to be pressed into brick without having to manually force it down.
Like that brick? A good crash. Hardly anything in it at all. At this point, you can see that our attempt to decline the perpendicular roller segment to attempt to enable the bricks to roll around a corner failed, and Dave had to manually grab those two bricks. In hindsight, we should probably have used a level to ensure the perpendicular segment was in an actual decline and not just judge it based on its relative level to the first segment. As we both attend to the hopper failing to fully discharge its load of dirt into the loading tray, partial bricks get pressed from our efforts to manually discharge the dirt through the rebar shoveling and manually shaking the hopper. This led to a brick being pushed and falling off the segment, which of course showed us that trying to arrange roller segments to enable bricks to around a corner when we have columns and walls built and need to deliver bricks around them, we'll need special care and attention to prevent this from occurring during a full production run while, wall while columns, walls, and the floor are being laid with CEB bricks. Switch, come on. Thank you. 